And we are here in the room where it happens. They are rehearsing the national anthem behind us in case you hear that right now. And folks are starting to file in on a typically hot day here in South Florida. And we are ready for what we hope will be a fabulous one tonight. The Heat in desperate need of a win to even up this series here in game four. There's Jalen, there's Michael Wilbon, Greeny here, and Stephen A. I will start with you. What does Miami have to do tonight specifically? to even up these finals at two games apiece. Shoot threes. Now, I know that sounds very simplistic, and Jalen and Will Bond are going to look at me and say, come on, you could do better than that. I wouldn't, blame, I, I, I wouldn't blame you under normal circumstances, but damn it, I've been right. Since the beginning of the Eastern Conference Finals, in the five games that the Miami Heat have won, they've shot 48% from three-point range. In the five games they've lost, they've shot 34%. Going up against Boston, they were losing in second chance points, fast break points, field goal percentage shooting, etc. Their claim to fame, the key ingredient to them winning is hitting three-point shots. When you do that, it's the ultimate neutralizer, particularly in a series of this magnitude. Jokic coming at you, Murray coming at you. You've got to answer the bell when brothers like that are coming at you. Two teams, two guys on the same team with 30-point triple-doubles in the same game, that is not normal because this team is not normal. You want to get at them, out-shoot them from three-point range. I, okay, I'm not going to look at you like you're crazy, but they, that better not be the only thing they do. If they let Jokic and Murray go for two 30-point triple-doubles again, they're going to lose, even if they shoot 50% from three. So you can't stop them, but you got to slow them. you got to do something to discourage them. You just can't go under and let Jamal Murray have clean looks time after time coming off screens in this game, or he'll do what he did last game. So they got to play better defensively, and they cannot get dominated in the paint like they did in game three. Eric Spolster is – in my, for my money, the best coach in the game. And he's tried everything. Two, three, one, two, two. Drop coverage. Hedge and show. I think the thing they need to do tonight against the pick and roll for the Jokic and Jamal Murray is play smaller, have four shooters around Bam, and just switch. That's what they have to do. Because that pick and roll last game, whether Murray was handling it, if you double him, guess what he doing? He dropping it back to the Joker, four on three, yeah. and either scoring it on the lane or dropping it off to a shooter or somebody in the dunk spot. So the Nuggets are trying to win a championship here in the immediate future. They also are making moves to address their longer-term future. So I want to bring Woj in on that because today I happen to be seated right next to Woj while I think I saw him do something I'm not sure anyone has ever done before, and that is break news of a trade involving a team that is in the finals during the finals. What happened with that, Woj? Yeah, that, that was a new one today, Greeny. Uh, the Denver Nuggets picked up three draft picks in a deal with Oklahoma City today, I'm told. Uh, Denver gets the 37th pick in this year's draft from Oklahoma, from Oklahoma City. They also get a first round and a second round pick in 2024. They'll send out a first round pick in 2029 to OKC, who has 15 of them between now and 2029. But you know what's happening here with uh, the Denver Nuggets is they are trying to maximize this window around Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr. And when you have three max players on your roster, financial flexibility is going to be really difficult for the Nuggets going forward. This gives them the opportunity to get at some other, you know, low cost young players in the draft and also now have some trade assets to perhaps move up. A lot. This year, Christian Brown at number 21 turned out to be a pick that Calvin uh, uh, Calvin Booth, their general manager, got in last year's draft that's contributed all the way through the playoffs, and they're going to need to find some more of those guys uh, as they had to try to win more than just one title. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.